right into yes. the mamma jamma here it is of the ultimate hinged bangle and so rumor has it these have already been popular right frank uh j357018 these are brand new uh. today and I think you're going to love these because the floral has been very, very popular already. We have Croco because so many of you specifically collect that texture. And then this is one of the newest textures, but frankly, it's my favorite. And that's that Don't basket you love it? weave. I it's love so it. so classic. Um, I love that on this piece, Scott, you're giving me texture and then the gleam of polished sterling silver, which truth be told, as much as I love the texture I'm, from Jay yeah. and, f and from my couture pieces, in my heart of hearts, I'm a shiny silver girl. Are you really? So I love I having that sort of modern shiny silver juxtapositioning with my texture. I love that I'm learning new things about you. How about that? I'm looking, yeah. so, so first let's get the elephant out of the room. Do know I don't want you to worry about, you know, like it's high polish, is it gonna scratch? Yeah. If you have any superficial scratches on it, you are just gonna use a polishing cloth and it's gonna come through. Okay. So you do not have to worry on that end. What you're gonna see in the design, if, if you can see me here, you're gonna have individual stations here in the contour. So it's broken up, each station is broken up by this tight basket weave. Yeah. So your favorite collection is on every single piece, oh, my friend. Oh, I love friend. that. Thank you. Then you're going to notice, look how it contours yes. and comes together. And then it's going to go into whichever station you love the most. There you have the easy push clasp. Yep, the teeter-totter. <laughs> Did you, you call it seesaw or teeter-totter? No, but it's the same. Oh. Seesaw. Okay. Um, then you have look the carved the carving. floral. Look, can we just look at that floral one more time? Because look how beautiful. Can we go back to the floral? We'll just real quick. I just want right everybody there. to see, like... Look, look at the highs and lows there. Is that a look, ladybug what, you see? Is there oh. a ladybug on there? <gasps> you better tell Sean Killinger about this. Oh, I'm telling She's such a ladybug girl. So on one station, so when you get at home, let's play hide and seek. And who can find the ladybug? <laughs> there is one ladybug. And those of you who may not know. Only on the floral. Only on the floral. On the ladybug, they say if a ladybug, or if you're in the UK, they call it a ladybird. Ladybird, yes. If the ladybug lands on you, stay completely still. On the ladybug's wings, there are little black dots. They say you count the number of dots before it flies off, and that's the number of months of good luck you will have. Oh, I love it. So I could, I, pod, I could only get four on here, y'all, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving you four months of good luck, take it off and then put it back on and look at it, and you get it again. So that's Great. the floral station. From there is the, which one would you like to speak to next? Um, let's do basket weave because there's only a hundred left in the basket weave and that's for all three sizes, which by the way, the minimum weight on these bracelets is 35 grams. So 35 grams for your small, 38 and a half for your average, 41.4 grams of silver. Again, I love it. They're heavy, solid weight bangles. That does not mean they're heavy on your wrist in terms of comfort and weighing you down. It's just giving you confidence, especially in bangles, which are often made of hollow tubes that are three grams and dent in a sneeze, which, right? Which give us other designers bad names. So here <laughs> you're getting something that is really solid, cast, weighty. You're paying more, you're getting longevity. You're investing in something that you're gonna wear and enjoy and it becomes like part of your signature style every single day. So where did the basket weave come from, Scott? So the basket weave was part of my Out of Africa collection and it was inspired by the women as they would live, work amongst the riverbeds and they would weave the baskets out of palm to, to create if you will, fishing baskets yeah. that they would use to fish. So I wanted to bring something that, that paid respect to this tight knit community. Uh, it's basically a tribal symbol, but give it to you in a more modern interpretation. Yes. So it comes off almost as a bit of a chevron pattern. And by bringing it in, how it contours, we've never done a contour like yeah, this. I love We've it. never done that gleaming high polished silver that sits next to the carved gorgeous detail of the artisanship. So for me, it really speaks to that perfect marriage of that high fashion, yes. but then the artistry and then that high fashion and it's the perfect oval. And then on the inside of each of them, they are beautifully finished. So a separate screen that is carved wax that has then been dipped and created in full silver as they bleed it out. Wow. So beautiful works of art. They fit like a glove. And as we spoke, because I always forget, there is that seesaw 
when you get it home, just push on one side of, of that clasp to give you the ease and the reason why I don't do the normal one where people just do a full push here, that's gonna pop it open anytime you are wearing it or you jump against anything here. If you notice, I'm just going on the side, yep. push it down, and I've done extra security. I'm not sure if you can see, if you go in tight, there, there you go. See the little teeth? Yeah. So even the if the smallest amount comes up, it's still gonna it's hold awesome. on. As Jill said, when you're working with an it's investment quality. piece, yeah. yes, but when, 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 you're, when you're going to purchase a forever piece of jewelry that speaks to your style, I don't want you turning around just like you don't. I wore it for a year and then I lost it because it came off. Yeah, right. No, this is that piece. You take your polishing cloth, do a little rub down on it. It brings it right back to life. That oxidation is gonna stay on there. You choose, is it the Croco? Does that maternal protection speak to you? Have you always been our Croco collector? Are you like Jill who has recently fallen in love with the basket weave? Mm -hmm. does, that, does that beautiful chevron pattern speak to your style? Or are you like so many of us who love the hope and the beauty of the floral and what it brings for the new day? Here's the floral. And look at them stacking. Well, I was gonna say, remember, this is a true bangle going all the way around. It's not one of the cuff styles. Um, so that durability is really important because let's face it, you know, with a bangle, it might hit uh, against the table. Yes. But again, it's gonna hold up beautifully. I can tell you, as you're looking at couture collections, you'll see the cuffs, you'll see the soft bracelets, and you'll see full bangles like this. I often wear a full bangle, yes. as you know, as, as part of my little, my regular what? signature quad, kind of it's a quad now yeah. because of the <laughs> box chain we made it on my there. bracelets um, but again it just it feels good it gives a different look I love how this kind of contours in so these sections here have a little bit seems a little more dramatic there with uh -huh, the high yes. polish the carving detail again not just across the top but wrapping around that's that's the J difference that's the designer difference that you're getting in these beautiful beautiful pieces well, well, that's why you only see me every two months <laughs> and there you can see the basket weave which I just absolutely love I think so, it so are you looks enjoying like the cozy sweater are you, you enjoying know? the contour design oh I love it do you I think, think it it's fresh great. Oh, for sure. And I mean, it's it's it's. I think it's a little more modern I, uh, than some perfect. of the other things that you've brought no, to the no, collection. No, you know, and, it, that, and that's why I say it's it's, it's an evolution. It's the perfect combination of that a little bit of a fashion forward with that beautiful sleek contour. Yeah. But then it's like, hey, don't forget who we are. Look at the beautiful carving work from some of the best master artisans in the world. And then that you've got your croco. I look at the texture on the crocker so when yeah. you rub your finger across there you feel all the undulation i want you to think of the highest quality croco embossed italian leather so coveted and that's what we create here the beautiful floral station or again if your team basket weave with miss jill bauer <laughs> who as you notice the first thing she put on were the matching hoop earrings yes to make sure she's like i need to get make sure i have these before these sell out <laughs> That, the, the hoop earrings were the very first thing that I put on, and then I grabbed this bracelet and I layered from there. Uh, here's an update for you. We brought in 700 of these bracelets. Basket weave is last call. Look at In the floral, only 200 left, and only 100 left in the croco. So choose your size. We have the small, which is over 35 grams of sterling and, silver. And the small is six, six and, three and three quarters. quarters. Thank you, I apologize. Average, which is over 38 grams of sterling silver, and that's going to be seven and a quarter inches. And then for those of you who wear that large size, that's going to be an eight inch fit. That's over 41 grams of sterling silver in this bangle bracelet. Choose your favorite. They can layer with other things that you have. They can add a new texture to something. I will tell you, if you have any of the giraffe pieces, that basket weave it's ties in beautifully with well, some and, of the giraffe pieces that just, you've done. Just to give you an idea, I'll pass this to you, but all of your bales of Africa. So all the bales- Are done with the basket weave. Yes. Yep. So it's a way to, t you know, I'm all about making sure that you can wear everything together. together. I don't want anything yep. that gets left behind. I don't want to be that child that gets left behind on the playground, okay? <laughs> we so, won't leave you behind, Scott. So on promise. that end, and, and I know many of you right now are saying, oh my goodness, I want one of each. So look at this I floral and floral. Look at you bringing a whole garden party here. So how it, pretty is that? Right? If you want to play up that floral story. Um, that, the, the, that's gorgeous. And that floral or maybe, collection is going nowhere, my friends. I'm, look at the floral with maybe just the floral ring. Because it has that same pattern on the side. 
Like that might the, be a really the giant good combination. flower, and then your little gift of four months of good fortune with our ladybug hidden in there. Listen, stay on the line for these. They're brand new. Um, these are new to the collection. Should they sell out, I don't know when they're going to be back, but I would definitely make sure that you have yours, especially when you're getting that great easy pay opportunity. And if you want the earrings to match, are there any earrings left? 12 earrings left, Croco only. All right, so here's an update on our uh, ID bracelet. Last call here 